Hey everybody, welcome to today's drawing. Today we're gonna draw rocks. To get started, what we're gonna need are paper. You can ha have a stack of paper around so you can draw plenty of rocks. Um, your favorite drawing material, maybe pencil or crayon or marker. But what I'm gonna be drawing with today is a big crayon. I really like drawing with these because they're waxy and fun. You're also going to want some coloring materials, your crayons or colored pencils. And before we get started drawing a rock, we are going to warm up. So to warm up, first things first, just like in sports, we want to stretch our muscles. So let's do little finger stretches, little wrist rotations. And you can't see me, but I'm rolling my shoulders. All right, we want to get the juices flowing this morning, the creative juices. All right, so our first warm up, let's start small and get bigger and bigger. I'm gonna start with the smallest thing I can think of to draw, a dot. And each dot, I'm gonna draw a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger until it starts to turn into a circle. And there are circles I'm gonna draw bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until I get to bigger circles. Don't worry if they're not perfect, we're just warming up. Now I'm gonna take those circles and go the other way, but I'm gonna connect them. I'm gonna do loops. Loop de loop de loop de loop de loop. Don't worry about overlapping. Ah, feels good. Then going back the other way, we're gonna take our loops and make them into waves. So I'm gonna start small again, really small. Get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until they get really big. Okay, you guys starting to feel warmed up? I know I am. But one last warm up is I'm gonna draw fast. So what's something fast that we can draw? Well, the quickest way between two points is a line. So I'm gonna draw fast lines. I'm gonna try to draw straight lines, although it's okay if they're not. I did five of them, but now I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really warmed up. All of these different parts we're gonna to use to draw a rock today. All right, so let's get a new piece of paper. I'm gonna give you a second. And while you're getting your paper, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about rocks and what they mean to me. I love drawing rocks because sometimes when I go outside, it feels like everything's moving. I like drawing animals and trees and cars and people, but all of those things move. I like drawing rocks because when everyone else is moving and everything else is moving, rocks stay still. Also, whenever I go and visit new places, my family collects rocks. So we have these little jars of rocks that we've collected from all sorts of different places. This is from a beach in Hawaii. This is from that same beach, actually. And this is from up the coast in Northern California. We just collect rocks from different places we, we visit and we put them in these little jars. So I thought it would be fun if we draw not just rocks, but maybe a rock family, since I collect rocks with my family. So the first thing we're gonna draw is, and I'm just using that same crayon, is going back to our warm up. I'm gonna start with where a rock meets the ground. And that looks just like a line. 
Now, for the shape of my rock, you can do anything you want. If you wanna draw a round rock or a jagged rock, or maybe both, it's totally up to you. The reason why I like drawing rocks is because it's really fun and simple. It's just a line and whatever I wanna do on top. So I'm gonna draw a little wavy rock like that. Now, I have to think a little bit about who is this in the rock family? And since I'm the dad of my family, maybe I'll draw a dad first. I think I'm happy with my family because he's a rock family. Maybe his smile is really slow moving, so it's just curled up just a little bit on the ends. And I draw his eye and his eye using the dots. And there's my rock dad. You know, to make this look like a rock, I might put a little bit of grass next to him. So do you remember the waves we did? I'm gonna do really small waves. Something like that. On both sides. And maybe I'll even put a little flower. A circle and a line with a dot in the middle. There's all sorts of flowers you can make. You might have your own version of a flower that you wanna do. Then maybe I'm gonna draw a little, or maybe a tall. I'm gonna draw something tall. So I'm gonna draw another line, but this line wants to go a little higher. And I'm gonna connect it right back there. And maybe this rock I'm gonna draw really tall, like that. And maybe this one has a little bitty smile and little happy eyes. And that's my mama rock. Maybe too, I'm gonna put a little bit of have you ever seen a moss growing on rock? I'm gonna put a little bit of moss, so I'm gonna do a little waves, like that. And then maybe I'll do a little kid rock. So I'm gonna draw a little line. A little bit higher. And for this one, I think I'm gonna do something round. So I'm gonna start at the end of the line just do something round like that. But maybe the Kid Rock has been playing all day and drawing so many drawings. So he is sleeping. It might be fun that on the little Kid Rock, I'm gonna draw a little grass and a flower. Maybe for the flower, I'm gonna draw petals. So I'm gonna do little loops. Loop, 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 loop. Like that. And that's my rock family. If you want, you could color them. I'm just gonna go into my box of colors and I'm gonna pull, we have so many colors here. And if you don't have this many colors, it's okay. You can just pick whatever colors you want. I'm gonna pick different blues. I have all these different colored blues um, that are kind of neat. And grays, see these kind of gray blues. I don't know, just picking, just picking different blues that are kind of remind me of a rock. And you could do color pencils too if you want. But I'm gonna take the gray one just gonna color in, but it's okay. I try to kind of stay in the lines, but I'm just gonna draw really 
loose. I'm not trying to color every part of it. I'm gonna mix colors. Put a little bit of blue. And I hold it really loose, see like this? Like, it's like my wrist is really limp. And just kinda color loosely inside. And maybe for the little rock, I wanna do a little light blue. Mama Rock, maybe I'll do a real, let's see, let's do the gray. Color it in. And for the colors inside, I'm gonna color yellow for the flower. And for the greens, I'm gonna put in the green different kinds of green. And let's see what are the colors I have here. Maybe we'll do orange flowers. I like the white flowers, so maybe this one will be orange. Mama has green. of green. And that's it. That's my little rock family. And don't forget to sign your work. I'm going to put Okay, and that's my little rock family. So when you go outside and look at all the different shapes, keep an eye out for all the different rocks and imagine all the little faces and personalities on those little rock families. All right, everybody, until next time, bye.